Cotton cultivation and production have a long history in China. Well, the journey was filled with fickleness, but passing through all the hurdles was worth it, as today, China is the world's largest cotton producer. The sudden boost in cotton production in China was only possible because of excellent intensive technologies and opting for sustainable farming. By using only 60% of the world's cotton land, China has extensively developed in the last 60 years by producing about 30% of the world's cotton. China's modernizing agriculture and intensive technologies included seedling transplanting, plastic mulching, double cropping, plant pruning, and super high plant density techniques. Now with such high yields and high efficiency in cotton cultivation, China can serve the entire country through the limited land area. What are the ultra-modern techniques which facilitate high-yield cotton production, which other countries are competing with China in cotton cultivation? Let's buckle up to find some fascinating facts about China's booming cotton production. In just a few decades, China has amazingly achieved world-renowned achievements in cotton production. No doubt, the last 70 years were a roller coaster ride for the agriculture sector, as China has experienced different developmental periods from which some had excellent results but some were not worth it. From the introduction of foreign technologies, establishments, and application of intensive cultivation techniques, most prominently, all these major integrations had Chinese characteristics so definitely a perfect fit for China's crop production. However, cotton cultivation was not at all a smooth journey for China, as after such insane integrations in technology and machinery, they still used to suffer because of hurdles like the insufficient amount of high-quality cotton, low resource utilization efficiency, and low mechanization levels. They obviously had to think of something more innovative and sustainable to achieve a greater scale and standardization in cotton production. Which techniques were used to achieve high-yield cotton production? One of the most widely adopted techniques for coon production was plastic mulching. Almost 70% of the cotton farmlands were covered with plastic each year, and these farmlands are mostly from arid and semi-arid regions of northern China and coastline saline alkali areas where there are low temperatures all over the year. This plastic mulching helps in increasing soil temperature through the greenhouse effect, and most importantly conserves moisture as the plastic will prevent direct evaporation of moisture from the soil. This excellent technique of plastic mulching will eventually help in improved seedling establishment, plant growth, and economical yield, and one of the best achievements could be the total salinity in coastline saline alkali areas will also be decreased, finally making it a perfect fit for cotton production. Whereas some areas of northwest China cannot support coon growth because of low temperatures in spring and autumn. No doubt, they have abundant light and heat resources, but because of low temperatures, there are limitations of coon growing. So to find a way out and solve this problem, they're following a cultivation pattern called short as early, which amazingly solves this problem. Short as early has been practiced since the 1990s in northwest China. In this technique, the height of the plant is reduced and they tweak the early maturity with the help of drip irrigation under plastic mulching. Drip irrigation suits the best for such areas as, firstly, it insanely reduces the water usage and also effectively alleviates weight, diseases and insect pests, decreases the number of ball rots, and lastly improves seed coon yield and burr quality. Another technique that has been used since the end of the 20th century is precision seeding technology, where the results are incredible, and the cotton yield is also increased by 5-10% to when compared with the conventional seeding technology. The best part about this precision seeding technology is farmers can save more than 60% of seeds. These fantastic results have resulted in wide adoption of this technology, especially in the Northwest Island cotton growing region. The benefits of precision seedling do not end here only, but China has come up with an incredible precision seeder that has an integrated design and hence can do a joint operation of multiple processes. So now through precision seeding technology, Farmers can complete sowing, fertilization, herbicide spraying, drip irrigation pipe laying, soil covering, and plastic mulching with just one seedling machinery. Techniques are amazing and so are the yields produced. However, China is still facing some hurdles and hence is not able to achieve a maximum production level of cotton cultivation. There is still room for improvements and there are natural factors like poor environmental conditions which are not suitable for cotton production. So finally. What are your thoughts on developing technology for sustainable cotton production? Will India speed up and surpass China in terms of cotton production? Do let us know your views in the comments below. And if you enjoyed watching how China is trying to improve cotton cultivation, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content.
See you in the next video.